Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. It is Wednesday, June 30th. I'm going to prove it to you. <laughs> At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I am live. Welcome to all my Facebook buds who come in and chat. Woohoo! We get silly sometimes and we talk about food a lot. <laughs> and welcome to all my Facebook buds who just lurk and watch. Feel free to drop in and chat and talk with us or just watch the, the fun. And welcome to my YouTube viewers who watch this after I load it up to YouTube. And don't forget Facebook buds that this goes to video as well on Facebook. So if you miss part of it, you can always catch it up. Or if you can't be here for some reason, you can watch it then. All righty. So drop in. Hi, Rhonda. Rhonda, Rhonda, Bobanda. <laughs> okay. And it always helps when you let me know what the voice level is. I think we're good. All right. Oh, you got your knife today. Yay. Have you used it already, Rhonda? Just curious. I think you'll have a lot of fun. Six and clear. Okay, good. Thank you. Okie dokie smokey. You have a bird waiting for it. Okay. Cool. All right. So no announcements, no contests at the moment. Things are quiet and we're having a lot of fun. Julie, welcome. And please do drop in the room and say hello, guys. We've got a lot of new members that, that popped in. Welcome to all my new members. Don't be shy. We always have a good time. Okay. I wanted to show you guys some buttons that I got in. Oops, didn't mean to pour all those out. <laughs> all right, so these are, zoom in. Hi, Julie. These are butterfly buttons. And I don't mind that they've got the holes in them. I think they look absolutely, look at that. The coloring on these is gorgeous. Zoom in. Zoom in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And that's what I was looking for was the quality of the color, which this has. And yes, these are on the affiliate list. So there's another little toy to play with. Oh, Jennifer. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. After a long, terrible evening, I'm ready to relax a little. What happened, Jennifer? Okay, so these are now butterfly buttons that we have. There is, they're very slippery. <laughs> okay, so let me gather these puppies up.
so I thought what I would do is show you. I'm not necessarily going to use them on this. Zoom out. Zoom out. Your car caught fire as you were taking your girls to MMA class. Oh, Julie. Please tell me that nobody was hurt. Now, zoom out. Zoom out. If you want to, you could color these yourselves, but the coloring on it, on these are absolutely gorgeous as is. So I just want to show you, I mean, you could pop a couple on this project that we're doing, zoom out. And these are just all little extras here that you can put on. Now, you know, I always, always tell you, don't get stupid with extras, right? Okay, good. So not terrible, but enough to do some wiring damage. Okay, we all got out. Great. And ran. Just lot, lots of smoke, and thankfully it went out on its own. Oh, Jennifer. Doggone it. Well, Jennifer, sit back, relax. Have a little laugh with us as we go along. So yes, these are on the affiliate list now. And to anybody that's new, hi Rebecca. To anybody that's new, we have an affiliate list that if you purchase off of it, a few pennies go to the group. And I turn around and buy nice things such as these butterflies. Okay. So let's get coloring. Anybody in the room have any prayer requests? And if you think of one as your yes, and yes, Mary, I've got that button coloring book. Yep, 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 yep. Exactly. That would be a fun project, wouldn't it? Hey, Mary, you guys, keep people occupied a second and let me go grab that real quick.
Okay, not handy at the moment, but I will be sure to pull that out tomorrow. What it is, Janet? Hi, Janet. Welcome. It's a coloring book that um, I requested. Amazing adults. Okay, hold on. It may be under A. Sit tight. Thank you, Mary. Janet, welcome to our lovely group. I'm so glad you joined. Okay, Amazing Adults Buttons Coloring Book. I, I should probably file it under B. Okay. This was gifted to us from Debbie Deems. And what it is, it's a book with button designs on it, which I absolutely love. So, Janet, how long have you been coloring? Doesn't matter. So, this has some really cool patterns in it. I don't recall if we have any butterflies in here. Wouldn't that be cool, though, if we did? Janet, we can get pretty silly in here, so be warned. <laughs> You in col <clears throat> coloring a year. Oh, Mary says there isn't. Okay. Okay. But anyway, this would be a really cool book to decorate with buttons. Let me see if I can find a couple of colorful. Oh, Janet says she's silly herself. Janet, you come to the right group. So, these buttons would be added, can be added, and they're a perfect fit. Now, you guys know that I tell you not to get stupid with your add-ons, right? Zoom out. So, there's just an idea for you. Okay, so Janet, the reason I'm known as the Queen of Custom Coloring is because I introduce custom additions to pages, you know, drawing in stuff, completing pictures that artists may have forgotten, all sorts of stuff. And Mary, thank you for whipping out that name for me. I never would have found that book. <laughs> I, like I said, I probably should put it under B. So, Janet, for example, I drew in the side of this tree. I drew in the rest of the squiggle lines. In other words, I drew out patterns all the way out. So, I'm currently working on this book, guys, which is Vintage Classic Coloring Pages 4, which has a terrible reflection on it. There we go. And Janet, don't ever hesitate to ask questions. We don't care what level you're at. The only question, the only dumb question is one not asked. And that's so silly to not do that because of what this group does. Okay. So Janet, where are you, where are you from? All right, now, this is Little Red Riding Hood, obviously. I am in Cookville, Tennessee, which is about an hour west, no, east of Nashville, outside Chicago. Bad, bad Leroy Brown, baddest man in the whole damn town. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So I'm playing with my etching knife, <coughs> knife which is by Slice. Now, Janet, and for anybody else that's new, we have an affiliate list. And what that means, I'll bet you you've heard that a bazillion times, Janet, haven't you? Um, we have an affiliate list, and if you purchase from that affiliate list, like I said, we get a few pennies. The affiliate list is in announcements. So it's always appreciated, because like I said, I take every penny promise you and plow it back into the group okay so this knife is on it <clears throat> it's a it's a called slice has a ceramic blade and what I'm gonna do zoom in is I'm going to go ahead and add a few more creases Christine on my cloth Rhonda you're gonna love your knife All right, now, don't get stupid with it. You guys know that I always advise you to not go overboard with your add-ons. Christine, what have you been up to? Zoom in. And what I want you to see is wherever I put a slice with a knife, the water-based marker puddles into that little crevice and makes extra little marks for you. Everybody see that? Oh, and that's correct what Julie said. And if not an affiliate list, just send me a message with the link from Amazon to what you're buying, and she, I will put it on for you. If you're buying a TV set, send me that link. We get credit for it. And Julie, thank you for your purchase. She just got some craft uh, drawers. Okay, everybody see these extra little marks on here? That's from the craft knife. See, there you go. Jennifer, I think your version looked great. And as far as doing anything extra, what I would suggest is just watch me. and see what you think. Zoom out. Yes. Oh, Janet, no. The, um, the knife, the craft knife slices into, this is cardstock. 
Okay, it's not regular paper. And if I pushed hard enough, I'm sure I could slice through it, but you will, you'll get a feel for that. Zoom in. Everybody see these extra little lines here? That's from the knife. Zoom out. And then of course now I'm just taking my marker and highlighting my areas. Rita, hello. Yes, ma'am, Janet. What I did is I slapped the original picture on my printer and printed it out, scanned it out to uh, cardstock. Okay, let me grab something. Oh, as I bump you guys. Okay, let me do this, Jennifer. Okay, this is Jennifer's picture. Hold on, I gotta tilt this so we don't... Now, I can't do this every time for everybody, but I'll do it when I can. Jennifer, I think everything looks great. What do you guys think? Critique it with me. Okay, the sky you're going to have to leave as is because you made that a pretty dark blue. But you could go ahead and take, um, take some dark gray and go ahead and outline the trees with it. So what I would do is go ahead and outline, you know, shade, shade this with gray. And that's going to make it darker. I love the eye, love the mouth. And on this tree, you can go ahead and shade in with your brown, like I've shown you on mine. So there's nothing really wrong with it. That's just a few technique things. Okay, under the leaves, add some shading under the bottom part. Does that make sense? And that way you'll get those to be a little more dimensional. And then if you want to, go ahead and color in your green a little more here. So rather than just coloring the tops of the bushes, I might carry that down. Now, having said that, guys, and I love your mushrooms, having said that, yeah, she did a good job on the hair. Now, if you want to, you can add a little bit of shading underneath the ribbon. Hi, Tammy. And 
And if anybody has any comments, Please say something. She's asking, and you guys know that that's what we do here if you want. So really, a lot of this, Jennifer is shading. You can get a lot more depth in. So behind the little girl, you can shade in behind her to give some, you want some shadow in there. But for you, I would definitely do something with this green down here. And I'm going to be working on that tonight. Because here's why. You've got a lot of dark up here. And then all of a sudden you've got a lot of light down here. So you're a little bit off balance with your overall coloring, okay? Really, I think overall, Jennifer, if I had if I had to make a general critique is if you work on your shading, this will really pop. The little girl is perfect. So start getting your shading in. Shade behind your trees. Darken your trees. I like the area under her feet. Good job there. And very good job on her hat. Uh, Jana, it, you know, it depends on what I'm coloring. Um, if you have the book, you're welcome to color along with me. It's actually a book. It's not a print. I do not pre-announce what I'm doing because I just like to surprise you guys and come up with um, things that I'm working on tutorials. <clears throat> Excuse me. Does this help you, Jennifer? So this book is the Vintage Classic Coloring Pages by number four by Tatiana Stolova. You're welcome. All right, let me get this little puppy out of here. Does that answer your questions, Jennifer? Right now, if I were to give you an overall critique, I would say it's the shading that you need to work on. Anybody else have any comments? Don't be shy. Hi, Wanda. Wanda, by the way, I actually did do alcohol markers with grayscale, and I'm kicking myself. Wild Soul was a big one that I did. And it completely went out of my brain that I did that. So, wild soul. <laughs> okay. Now, since this is Little Red Riding Hood, I went ahead and made Wandy. Our cloth red and I've got some red here on her pinafore and I've got the red of course on the wolf and I actually chose to go ahead and bloody him up a little bit 
Okay. So again, for anybody new, oh my gosh, guys, say hi. I mean, if you want to lurk and watch, that's fine. I get it. But the point of this room is to talk and have fun. We are an absolutely no drama group. If you have any issues with me, send me a send me a text, but don't don't take it public. I've booted people because of that. Not because they had issues with me, but because they started gossiping and saying some not nice things. All right. Zoom out. So for anybody that just dropped in, I'm doing vintage classic uh, coloring pages. Number four. Um, Janet, this is an electric eraser by AFMAT, A-F-M-A-T. I got bored one night. Well, actually, I put these marks on here so I could see it easily with all my junk. I love this. I highly recommend it. I was a naysayer about electric erasers for a long time, and I, I literally, I had to eat my words on that. Yeah, it's in our affiliate list. Okay, zoom in. Zoom in. Now, if anybody has a different brand of eraser, speak up. That's another thing you're going to find about me. Just because I recommend something doesn't mean everybody has to lockstep into it. Good grief, people. Whatever works for you. I have an electric pencil sharpener as well. It's called a Link Yo, L-I-N-K-Y-O. It's what, $29, I think. So that's what we do here. Sarah is asking for prayer. Please pray for my shift tomorrow as I work with a difficult coworker and we have a staff meeting tomorrow. Is this the same co-worker you've still been having problems with? Affiliate list is found on the group page under announcements. That's right. Okay. We've had, we have a prayer request. Lord God, in the holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray protection over Sarah Wolf Thacker. She's working with a difficult co worker and it has caused her angst <clears throat> for quite a while now. Lord God, we ask that you resolve this situation once and for all, either with Sarah or with this co-worker. We thank you, God, for your, for your interjection in this issue. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Zoom in. All right, so I got a little bit of green on the bottom here, but that's fine. And what the issue is here is I am coloring this little skirt part white to match the uh, apron and the poofy sleeves. And the way you do that, I'm going to do two things here. 
And for all you new people, you're going to see that I use my pen quite a bit. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of lines here. Now, always match the pen weight to whatever you're drawing. I have gray pens as well. So I'm going to go ahead here and add just a little bit of skirt. Yes, there are different coloring books in the affiliate list as well. Zoom out. I spoke to Melba, by the way, and they're still working on issues with her daughter. But so far, things are calm. Hopefully Melba can get in here tonight and update us. All right, now be sure that you let your pen dry because if you don't, it will smear when you go to put your marker on. So I'm gonna let that pen dry and I'm going to pop into the front part of my little basket here zoom in now i etched in these lines to make the basket weave and colored it over with marker like i just showed you with the um napkin Now, I don't always use marker. I use mixed media. And I also don't necessarily specify pencils because not everybody has the same brand and I don't want you to feel left out, which you shouldn't anyway. Okay, so I'm going to hop, pop in a little bit of gray. And then... I'm going to go in and add, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of black. Now these markers that I'm using happen to be Ohuhu. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this now with some black. Okay, which I just managed to smear a little bit. That happens. And to all my new members, I need one of my current members to tell our new people what we do with mistakes on our pages. What do I always say not to do? Zoom out. OK, 
Okay. Oh, come on, you guys. Somebody needs to answer this for me. Zoom in. Fix them. Don't trash them. Hi, Clarissa. The problem is when you are a relatively new colorist and you make a mistake, your inclination is to throw it out. The problem is what you think is a mistake is not necessarily ev <coughs> evident to other people. And you don't have the skills to make that judgment. Now, when you get to the point that you do have the skills to make that judgment, you also have the skills to what? Fix them. Yana, hi. Not getting much coloring time as I'm preparing to go to Native American Sundance next week. Okay. We'll be gone for 10 days, have two projects to finish. Okay. Maybe you can touch base while you're there and just say hi. Now, I'm going to go ahead on this leather top and put in some little dots of black just to pick up the theme here. And I've got some lace here, lacing, not lace, that I'm going to go ahead and color back over because it got mushed in brown. Everybody see that? Doesn't that look neat? Clarissa. And I'm going to go ahead and darken in this little rivet hole. There we go. Zoom out. Much better. Oh, Yana, you, you won't have internet. Okay, camping and in a sacred ceremony. Okay, okay. Well, thank you for letting us know. So you'll tell us when you get back, right? <laughs> Anybody have any questions so far about what I'm doing? Now, excuse me, let me grab some water. So if you're wondering why I put blue on here, it's to make the blouse look white. Okay, Yana, good. You'll need to tell us about it when you get back. So where are we here? We are, we are family. Da, 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 da. Okay, zoom in. Zoom in. Now, if I'm not close enough or too close, I need somebody to speak up. Okay. 
little bit of blue on the bottom, on the very bottom of this skirt. Remember when I did the coloring, <coughs> the kiss from Kevin <coughs> Volk's book? Excuse me. Okay, Rhonda said, Eileen, I just used a slice on my regular coloring book. Use strawberries, used on strawberries and work really good. It is thick coloring paper. Good. Posh coloring book and I put cardboard underneath. How cool is that? Melba. Rhonda, thank you for letting us know. Posh books are a little thicker. You just had to try out that, didn't you? Rhonda. So Melba says, just saying hi. See you guys soon. Thank you for all the prayers for your daughter. She's doing better. Melba, can you update us a little bit as to what's going on, just so that we know? Okay, notice the blue on the bottom here. And I'm also going to add just a teeny tiny spot of blue on the bottom of the cuff. Now, and the ribbon. Don't get stupid with it. And you don't need a lot. There we go. I'm just putting a hint of blue at the base. Zoom out. Everybody's seen now how that's working. And listen, this is really going to make sense when we get the green plants going here. All right. So let me start on, let's see where I want to go. Zoom out. Now, I get lots of questions about where I start my colorings, why, you know, whatever the case may be. Start where you get excited about a piece. So if you're excited about that little girl, start there. If you're excited about the wolf, start there. I... also like to move around on my pieces. This is not really willy-nilly moving. I like to move around based on what I've done. So when I go ahead and, for example, when I did the, this part here, which is nice and dark, I've got her done because I was just excited about doing her. And so now I'm going to start working on my plants and my greenery. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Zoom in. Zoom in. Now, you guys know me by, not, by now, who have been with me, that I don't just slap in one color, and that's it, right? Why? Someone care to answer that? 
And if you're new, take a guess as to why I just don't use one color like this. This happens to be a lime green Arteza. Depth and contrast, that's right, says Rhonda. If you want flat coloring, and if you want to stay at the newbie beginning stage, up to you. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in my base color. And if you were if you were a little sloppy with your brown like I was, sorry, my bad. That's okay, leaves can have brown in it. Now, if you notice something like this, that you've got brown in your leaves because you got sloppy from coloring the tree, then you say, okay, I will compensate. And this is where we are. Did Melba answer as to what was going on with her daughter? I may have missed it. This is where I'm going to compensate now for the fact that I got brown on the leaves. Right? So what? So now I'm going to go ahead and take a darker brown. It can be marker, it can be colored pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in that way. Everybody with me on this? Yes, no, maybe. Now, when you use your marker like this, when you pick it up, it tends to leave a little dot of a puddle. A wet spot. <gasps> you got Linda Ravencroft book that arrived. Oh, Yana. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, those are from England, aren't they? They are hard to find. Yana, you better be posting some of those um, images when you color them. All right, everybody see what I'm doing with these leaves. And it looks cool, actually. So I turned a mistake into, okay, Clarissa, you said BRB, be right back.
Okay, now, as I go up the vine here, I'm going to use less and less brown. I did one from the first book. Now I have six others to do. Better live to be 120 to do all of them. <laughs> well, I'll be very blunt. If anyone cares to donate any of the Ravencroft books to the group. Oh, Wanda. Sorry to see you leaving. All right, everybody see now how I'm just tinging the leaves. Zoom out. Good night, Wanda. Good night, Wanda. Good night, Wanda. So sorry you couldn't stay with us tonight. Okay. Anybody have any questions about what I did with the leaves? And why? Okay. So now I've got these little guys over here, which are bright green. We don't want bright green. You'll see why. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. And I'm going to tone down this green just a little bit. But I want you to see something else here. is I'm going to take a darker green still and add a little more depth and coloring around the edges. You with me on this? I'm in a talkative mood tonight, guys, so it'd be wonderful if you chat back at me. I've got three greens on this. Kathy. A light, a medium, and a dark. Look how much better that looks, guys. Don't break your point. 
Eileen's doing fine. Rhonda says she's trying to find a gray green. Yeah. Look in your greens, look in your grays. Okay, guys, three greens. Zoom out. Rebecca says she'll comment between flowers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, you don't have to comment all the time. I'm just looking for a response if I ask a question. That would be helpful. Okay. So I'm going to pop over to my owl. Zoom in. Now, remember that I put scratch marks on him as well. And I don't like that brown at all. Now, it would behoove you to take a second to look at owls on Google. And get some idea about their coloring. All right, and everybody see my scratch marks on here? Etch marks. Look at that. See how beautifully that fills in? Watch this. Oh, Kathy says she's been in meetings all day getting ready to reopen the office. However, I'll be home-based. I used most of my words for the day, but I still love you in this group. Okay, Kathy. Fair enough. Okay, now, if you need to add more marks, which I do, Go right back in and add them. Sometimes you'll think that you've done enough. And guys, this will come with time. You'll get a really good feel for it. 
Now, watch this around the eyes. I'm going to <coughs> concentrate on spiraling my marks outward, just like the marks that the artist put in here. Zoom in. If I'm too close, somebody holler at me. Everybody see these etchings now? How dark they got. Look how cool that is. Now remember, when you go back over the new marks that you added, you're going to be darkening with your marker. That's why it's really better to have everything there the first time that you want. But if you don't, not a big deal. Okay, see I'm making a little U right now so that I've got that whiter area. And I'm going to go ahead and darken at the bottom and a little bit on the um, wing. How cool is that? Green eyes. You know what? Let me think about those eyes. I'm not going to jump into green eyes right away. But I am going to take my black pen and I'm going to blacken the beak. There we go. And I got a little more black than I wanted, so I'm just going to work on scraping that off a little bit. There we go. Zoom out. All right. Zoom out. We've got a little squirrel in here. Zoom out. So let me give you a lay of the land here on everything. You can see how that owl is starting to make a difference. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. All right. Dark brown. You can see my etch marks. And then I'm going to take my lighter marker gold I 
and go over the spaces that I left blank plus go over the darker marker. Now when you do that, be aware of course you're going to get some of that darker marker on your on the tip of your lighter one. So just quickly clean it off. Okay, now this walnut is going to be a little bit dicey. Zoom in. So I'm going to come in with a light brown on top and bottom. Because we don't want to lose that nut if we can help it. And then I'm going to use a slightly darker brown on the edge. Everybody see that, I hope. See how I brought that in just a little bit when the camera quits wiggling? And then you can take a dark grayish green, sorry for my arm. And we can hit the top with it. Sweat the details, guys. It's just going to make all the difference in the world. Everybody see that? Zoom out. And I missed a little top of the ear here. There we go. Okay, now we're dealing with a lot of browns in these trees. And I want you to smooth out your squirrel because that's looking a little rough. And if you need to take blender pencil, and that was not a blender pencil, that was gray. If you need to take a blender pencil, And smooth that out. Go ahead and do that. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take my black pencil because we lost the eye of the squirrel. And I'm going to go ahead and emphasize the eye and the nose. There we go. Isn't that a lot better? That's even shining, isn't it? <laughs> That's my light. Zoom out. Okay, let's get this tree. Zoom in. And even though this is my base layer of brown, I'm already starting to shade off to the edge. Now, the reason that that is a good idea to do that when you're putting your base color in 
is it's going to start showing your eye where things are. And how this is going to look. And I need to grab my etching pen because I managed to not etch in between here. And I'm a little short towards the top. This was the tree that I accidentally cut the piece out of right here. See that little triangle? <laughs> I peeled right that top layer of this paper right off. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this etching pencil, pen, whatever you want to call it. Etching pen. You'll get a feel for it, trust me. And notice I'm working around in little circles, which you'll see when I stay in camera range. I am sticking to everything. It is muggy. Now, this is my base layer, so I'm not too concerned about little swirly showing up as I'm coloring. Better not to have them, but it's not a deal breaker. Notice I'm coloring a little darker around the hole in the tree. 
right? Again, this is where you can hint in your shading. Rebecca says, cooler air is coming, Eileen. It's 70 degrees and raining here, just west of St. Louis, and the cool air is heading east. Yes. Cool. Thank you for that update, Rebecca. Notice I'm putting in a little shading behind my squirrel. And again, guys, this is with my, my base color, right? That I'm starting out with, just to give myself a roadmap as to what I'm gonna shade so I can get an idea. Actually, let me go back up a little bit here because I'm going to shade underneath this little sprouty thing. And this is where you can color right on the line to give that depth. Now, this is a cheaper pencil. These are these Crayola Colors of the World, which are waxy as all get out. And they're a little difficult to use. But if that's all you have, no problem. I do not recommend them. Especially if you are new to coloring because I'm afraid that they will frustrate you. Zoom out. Alright, everybody see how this tree is getting some really cool personality. Personality. Okay, everybody see how I'm stroking this now? Look how cool that is. Give your tree some personality.
Yep. The slice even works with just color pencils. That's right. Zoom in. Everybody see these cut marks in here? Zoom in. Zoom in. There you go. See it? Right here. And right here. And right here. It's actually somewhat the opposite of what the markers do because the wax pencil tends to sit on the surface and not get into the grooves. So be aware of that. All right. And again, as I always say, it's not what I'm coloring, but how I'm coloring. Zoom out. All right. So let's go back to the top of my tree. So I'm going to go ahead and emphasize the base of this branch. And curve that little puppy around. And remember, this is just my base color, guys, that I started with, right? I'm creating a roadmap for myself and showing you. Okay. Now, marker, this is a greenish brown. And what I'm doing now is I'm emphasizing a darker area in the tree, a hole. Now, be careful when you go all the way around, you really want to leave a little bit of gap and a little bit of, oops, variance. And I would even go so far once that dries, so I gotta let that dry. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and I'm going to darken a little bit underneath don't forget my little finger poke here because when I pick up my marker it leaves a little bit of a puddle and a wet spot so just dab your finger on that everybody see that and you understand what I'm saying okay dark area up here and guys if you have any questions please I don't care how new you are
And I'm going to shade just a little bit underneath here. If I need to zoom in or zoom out, speak up. I can't read minds, guys, and I'm here for you. I really am. Okay. Area underneath the squirrel's butt. We're going to darken that a little bit. A bit and smear it blend it and then I'm going to darken this a little bit Now, you may start playing with this tree here and see how I'm just bringing in extra shading here. And I promise you that as you do this, you'll start to get your own ideas about how a tree should look. Zoom out. Melissa. Doggone, it's about time you get in here, young lady. Okay, black pencil. And I want you to see how that is making the wood look a little rot, rotting out the wood and darkening our area where the owl is. And notice that I'm sticking close for the most part to the inside edge. And then along the bottom. Ah! Oh, you've had VBS all week. Yes. Several young souls have been saved. Amen. Amen. Oh, Melissa, God bless you for participating. I used to do VBS as well. How wonderful is that? And I feel so honored, Melissa, that you come in here after a busy night. I bet you you're tired, aren't you? Kick your shoes off and sit back and relax. Yes, it is worth it. Oh, absolutely it's worth it.
All right, how's our tree looking with the owl and our squirrel? Again, I know it looks a little messy, but we'll get there. You're enjoying ice cream and chilling. What's the flavor of ice cream, Melissa? Tell, tell. By the way, to those of you who are talking about peach sal salsa, salsa, I bought some, and nacho chips. Look how cool this um, McDonald's Oreo McFlurry. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. All right. What do you think of a owl so far in the tree? And the tree house? All right, white pencil, a little bit of white on the chest. Little bit of white around the neck. Yeah, we got talking about peach salsa the other day. So of course, when I went out food shopping, peach salsa and um, chips from Sam's, natural chips from Sam's. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the eyes blue. So I'm going to add two shades. I'm going to, I've got my light blue at the bottom, zoom in. Zoom in. 
And my darker, I'm sorry. Yeah, and my darker blue at the top. You always want to work that dimension, guys. And these eyes are pretty small, so I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about highlighting them with any of the cellophane. I might go back, we'll see. But I am going to go ahead and reestablish the eye. And if you want to, you can go ahead and extend, zoom in. Hi, Helen. You can go ahead and extend that eyebrow a little bit. Just for fun. Hopefully it doesn't make him look like he's got glasses on, so I'll just cut that off right there. <laughs> That'll be the next thing. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom out. So I'm getting a little fatigued with my trees. I want to get into this greenery. And my mushrooms. Anybody have any um, questions or comments about the way I did something or didn't do something? I don't want to do that color. Anybody confused about anything that I said? And again, this will all come together, I promise. Okay. So, I missed a little bit of the fox here. Zoom out. Just a quick overview. Just a little bit of touch up on the fox. And this is where I'm saying that if you notice that something is a little bit lighter than what you want, or you've changed your mind, zoom in, zoom in, then perfectly okay, make your adjustments. As you go along and you add your other elements, everything cha can change. And I've made a very dark fox because that's what I want.
with a very scary looking eye. Okay. We'll leave that sit for a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get into the into the greenery. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I want an overall dark look to this. So I am going to use, there we go, my darker greens. This happens to be a medium green by Shuttle Art Color 111. Now, if you want to go through and I mentioned this earlier here. Add. Don't hesitate, please. Sometimes the artist may focus on, for example, here, the little girl, and will just add in a suggestion of what's going on in the background. In this case, the bushes. And remember also that these bushes were the ones that I carried out to the edge. Now they don't have to be super perfect. Anybody have any questions on this? Let me rephrase that. Would you add something like this to your coloring project? Now that you've seen me do it. Yes or no? Sherry! Roberta says she would. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Mohammed. Welcome. Now, it looks a little confusing right now, but trust me, it will make sense in a little bit. And again, welcome to all our new viewers here that are either you're lurking and not commenting. 
I can't see you if you do that. But I hope you're having fun just watching and learning. We are a pretty cool group. I'm so proud of my ladies and gentlemen. We have men in here. Yana says, I just got her second book, and yes, I would as well. Good. And for those of you that are not artistically inclined, good grief. You can squiggle a pen, right? Okay, Kathy says maybe, love how it looks, but would need a lot of practice before applying this technique. Okay, so let's start making some dark areas here. And again, as I explained to you, this, this for me, I'm making it a dark theme picture. Now, having said that, Little Red Riding Hood here with our red cloth is goodness and light, right? And lurking behind her, unbeknownst to her, is our wolf. And he's pretty large. So Little Red Riding Hood in this picture, the way I'm coloring it, is going to remain the softer colors. Kathy, you really don't need a lot of practice. You're making it harder than it is. Trust me. Take a page such as this one and copy it onto cardstock and practice adding in the components that I added.
you guys remember me telling you that when you go to color a piece, you need to look at the theme of what is going on. Now obviously there are some that are very straightforward. We have cutesy little pictures. Although we can edit those as well to make like a cutesy little picture at the beach or a cutesy little picture with butterflies <laughs> flying around. So when I looked at this, I immediately decided that I thought it would be cool to show the darkness and light of the piece. The wolf is darkness, evil, right? And I know that this looks rough right now. Bear with me, I'm just tinting in my colors. I like pictures that express a story and tell a story. And I want you to have patience tonight while I'm doing this because I want you to see how this evolves. And for those of you that are afraid to do stuff like this, okay, Kathy says she's still learning to apply that because she tends to jump in and color. Exactly. If you want to kick your coloring up a notch, then you need to take some of the, what I'm telling you to heart.
All right, everybody see how this is? Okay, Kathy. You're saying I'm going to have to say good night. Okay. Tomorrow's another busy day, and tomorrow night I'll be at Buddy. Good night, Kathy. Good night, Kathy. Good night, Kathy. So glad you could be here tonight. Hello, Gina. Hello, Gina. Hello, Gina. So glad you're here with us <coughs> tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Gina Papa Dimitrio. Love you, Kathy. Love having you in the group. Rhonda says she's obsessed with her slice. I may hang it around my neck. <laughs> it's wonderful. I wish I had gotten it years earlier. Don't get stupid with it, but yeah. I mean, that sucker cuts like, wow. Gina. How is Gina tonight? Gina, tell me something fun that's happened with you. Fun, funny. So Gina says she's okay, not too hot anymore. I'm going on coloring withdrawal. My pencils are so soft. So they're too soft for you or what's going on with that, sweetie? They were melting, and I had to put my halbin in the fridge and the luminous. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? <gasps> okay, that's a first. Well, look at it this way. When they melt, you won't have any cracks in them.
Anybody else have any problems with their pencils melting? I honestly have not never heard of that. Oh my gosh, we had 500, Gina says we had 500 deaths in five days from the heat. Oh no. Oh Gina. sad. No air conditioner. We never needed when we broke all the records. Oh, Gina. Are you guys okay? Have you thought about getting a portable unit for just maybe one room? Sherry, you're awfully quiet tonight. All sold out I figured or I should say I suspected Gina can you pick one up at Amazon which I'm sure everybody else is thinking about too oh man Gina, I'm so, so sorry. Okay, Sherry. I love you guys. Gina, I wish I could send you my air conditioner. I would I would send it to you in a heartbeat. Oh.
Now, I didn't color a couple of these because I'm going to do something a little different with them. So you said you're good now? zoom out okay prayers for Gina you know I'm gonna stop a moment because that did cross my mind Lord God in the holy name of Jesus Christ we ask you for blessing on Gina Papa Dimitrio I love saying that name with their air conditioning issues Lord God, give them the means to cool off the way they need to cool off. Help them through these issues. And also, Lord God, please help all the people in her area <clears throat> that are suffering from these, this heat wave. We ask you to pull that system away and give the relief. And Lord God, while I'm thinking about it, it's raining in Florida. Or so I've been told. And I ask you, Lord God, to, to have mercy on the rescuers of the people of the trapped apartment complex. Lord God, we so need your help. We need your help. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right. Okay. And for those of you that don't care to pray with us, that's fine. Hi, Roberta. Okay. So I want you to see where I'm going with this. I'm having way too much fun. Roberta, nice to see ya. And forgive me if I've asked you this before, are you new? Okay, so I've got this green here. Miss Roberta has entered the room. You're always happy to be with us, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys right now, sometimes I forget who's new and who isn't. 
especially if I don't see you on a consistent basis. So don't get PO'd with me. You love my quirkiness. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now, is I'm smoothing out, zoom in, zoom in, this green that I just put in. Now, again, I could have done this a lot faster with marker pen, but out of respect for those of you who don't have marker pen, I am perfectly glad to do it this way because it looks just as cool. Questions, comments? Okay, now let's make this picture talk to us. Zoom out. Okay, everybody see how I'm going with the darker green down here? I've got a little bit lighter up here, which is fine. And at this point, you can take a darker green. You can take a marker. You can take a gray to darken this. Experiment with it. Tonight I'm gonna to use a gray. change my mind <laughs> if you start to use a color that doesn't work for you <laughs> oh, don't hesitate to change it all right let's try this again I've got a very dark gray now from Starjoy called Viridian, V-I-R-I-D-I-A-N. Zoom in. Zoom in. And now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start 
start shading in. these bushes. Now, notice that I'm shading in next to Little Red Riding Hood. And what I want you to see, zoom in, what I want you to see is on some of these individual bushes where actually I added that, I'm going to go ahead and darken that. Everybody see that? And it's going to look a little wonky close up. I've explained that as well. But I like to teach close up so you can see exactly what's going on. Now, I'm taking the time to shade in between these little round things, which I have no idea what they are. that's okay and notice next to the tree I'm also shading with my darker green and in between my little fern Tell you what, I keep breaking my star joy. I'm not a hundred percent used to them. They're a very soft pencil. They're soft like a Prismacolor. They may even be softer. Okay. So the way that you darken with something like that is what? Repeated strokes. See how I'm using this darker line next to the frock. And blending it out. And don't forget, since we've got these various little plants in here, some of which you have, what, drawn in yourself? You want to go ahead and darken them up with the lighter center so they don't disappear. And if you have a pencil like these Star Joy that tend to 
crumble on your paper, no biggie. Some people get really upset about their pencils crumbling. So what? If they're softer, they may do that. Everybody see how I am emphasizing the dark on the dark. Zoom out. Look at that, guys. Is that not cool? Do not be afraid of your mediums and your darks. And this is why I wanted to do this in front of you so you could see how cool this look. Well, thank you, Roberta. Gotta recover my little buds here. Is everybody clear now how I'm doing this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Would you try it? All right. Zoom out. And I hope you can see this coloring. Let me get that shine off. There we go. Now you can really see it. Okay. Now these little... ferny things. I left blank. 
because I'm going to come in, zoom in, zoom in. Don't be afraid of your dark colors, guys. I'm going to come in and um, do the fern a little lighter. And I'm going to do it in two shades, one a bright green and one a not so bright green. Where am I here? Way off the screen. Okay, bottom leaves. Honestly, all I'm doing with this, zoom in, zoom in. Is I'm allowing my lighter green pencil to go over on top of my dark greens that I just put in and it's pulling in that darker green to give me that different shade color it's kind of a sneaky way to do it but it works right but don't do it too much all right And if we can get away with it, I'm going to use my lighter green and my little round thingies. And again, I'm just pulling in that green from around it. This is why I don't want you to have a heart attack if you accidentally color over something. Honestly, sometimes when we color, we're hot, we're tired. Well, let's try and keep it on camera. And even with the paper towel, sometimes it smears it. Zoom out. It worked. Look how cool that looks. Oh, Wanda, I'm so glad. I was going to text you. Is everything okay? I'm so glad you came back, sweetie. Okay. Zoom out. Everybody see how dark now this right hand side is looking. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, let me grab some water here.
and that edge looks a little brighter because it's curled up. There we go. I make it a point to not run my air conditioner while I'm on camera because it makes that background noise. <laughs> oh, zh, 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 zh. All right. Zoom in. So let's go ahead and color up our other ferns. There you go. Wanda said yes. I had to go watch those Mississippi State Bulldogs win the win the College World Series. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Mississippi State Bulldogs. Ra ra ra. Go dogs. <laughs> oh. Nine zero baseball, right? There will be celebrations tonight. Oh, how fun. All right. Now, again, I know you're watching me color a lot of greenery tonight, but I want you to see this and I want you to see the progression. And I want you to see how I am achieving that darker look. Zoom in. Don't forget to use a combination of colors. You don't have to go like the bluish and the green like I'm doing. You could do a light green and a darker green. Now, in this case, in doing this side, if you had wanted to and colored your ferns first, hi, Sandy, Sandy DeSanto. Welcome, welcome, welcome.
And I also want you to notice that this lighter green is a really nice offset Sandy, I don't think you've been here before. If you have, I apologize. I think I would have remembered your two puppies in your picture. Oh, I think I do. <gasps> I think you've been here. Zoom out. You guys really need to come in on a more regular basis so I don't make a jerk out of myself. Everybody see her little puppies in her her little Im her image? Okay, now. Oh, you just started watching the last couple days. Okay. Hi, Amy. Amy Wolf, welcome. To all our new members, welcome. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't hesitate to offer suggestions if you have any. Don't be shy. Does not matter what color level you're at. We are a cool group. And we have lots of fun. Amy, welcome. This is why I'm live. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of gray. I think I need to go a little darker. Bear with me. What brand of pencils do I use? I have 11 brands of pencils. And I use them based on color and not on brand. Alright, I'm adding just a little shade of dark gray. I, um... I don't want anybody to get frustrated because they may not have a particular color that I'm using. Summertime. Now, if your gray line is too dark, I want you to go back with your one of your colors and I want you to smudge it. Amy, how are you doing tonight? All right, and let me add a little more gray right here. I hear it's hot in California. And Amy, I don't think you've been you've been here before, have you? Again, I can only apologize if you have. Oh. I have got bear with me. Hoping to learn skills, okay. Well, Amy, that's what we do here. How long have you been coloring?
So I'm mixing my green and my bluish color on this fern. So I can catch that. New people are welcome. Experienced people are welcome. As long as you've been able to hold a crayon. There you go. Woohoo! I like that answer. And Sandy, how long have you been coloring? Hey, if you guys, Amy, if you want to share any techniques that you've worked on over the years, that's super. We are all about that. All right, zoom out. Zoom out. So again, I'm working on making everything darker. I'm making the top darker. And I'm making our Little Red Riding Hood to be lighter, goodness and light. That's, that's the idea there. Okay. And Little Red Riding Hood has a red cloth over her, her basket. So Sandy says, I've been coloring since a kid. I want to learn to color with more than one color and blending. Excellent. That's what we do here. Now, Sandy, any video that you... I'm sorry. Let's try again. Any broadcast that you miss goes to video in the group. And I always put keywords in it. So in this one, I'm putting <coughs> the book name and Little Red Riding Hood. So you go to that little um, magnifying glass and put Little Red Riding Hood, and this should pop up. Okay. So the point is... Feel free to talk as much as you want. Okay. I feel like I want to color a couple mushrooms. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. All right. And if you have any question, Amy, about what I'm doing, what are some good books to start with by authors? Um, totally depends on how complex you want them to be. Fairy books are good to start with. Tatiana Stolova, which is what this one is, would be a good one. Zoom out, zoom out. You can do something like Age of Elegance. Well, let's wait on that because that's a lot of skin. Okay, so we'll hold off on that. Sandy, post that question in the main group. Explain what you're looking to learn and people in the group can give you suggestions. I'm going to add a little bit of red to these. Zoom in. Zoom in. 
zoom in. Ooh. Just explain that you're new to the group. Sandy. And also, as Rhonda was uh, telling you, we have what's called an affiliate list. And everything that I color on goes into that list. And when you purchase off that list, it doesn't cost you anything. It brings a little bit of um, a few pennies to the group, which add up. Okay, I'm going to put orange on here now. And then I'm going to come in with some yellow. Um, Sandy, what books do you have now? Everybody see how I did that mushroom? Yellow, orange, excuse me, red, orange, and yellow. And this time I'm just going to go ahead with my red. And my orange. And if you want to put a little teeny tiny pop of yellow on there, that's cool too. Now I'm going to be somewhat, you have grayscale, you have grayscale coloring books and just some basic creative haven books. Yeah, those are good as well. What I, like I said, what I would suggest is just solicit everybody in my group. Just explain your skill level, what you're looking for, and you'll get some recommendations. And you should also do a search on grayscale because I do coloring with that as well. Don't let it throw you. Okay, so I'm going to do orange to the left here. And then a little bit of yellow. And yes, I'm leaving these bottom portions for the moment. Um, but Sandy, if you go through my other broadcasts, you'll see what I color on. All right, now this time I'm gonna go ahead and use more of a brownish red. And then my gold and my yellow. Now I've done blue mushrooms. Okay, Wanda, great. Thank you, Wanda. I appreciate that. I will get that for you promptly. So 
So there's my red. We can do just a little, little tap of red at the top. Oh, and I was saying I have done purple mushrooms. But tonight I'm just staying, I'm staying a little more um, consistent and conventional. Uh, Sandy, we have an affiliate list because I've signed up with Amazon for the group. And if you purchase off that affiliate list, we get a few pennies from each sale. And that list is in the announcements section. Now, if you have something that you want to purchase, all you have to do that may not be on the list, all you have to do is go to Amazon and in that in the upper right hand corner of the listing, Sandy, is that little arrow. It's that box with an up arrow in it. It looks like, let me see here, like this. And if you click on that and say copy link, and send that to me, message it to me, I'll be glad to get that for you. And once I give you that link, you purchase off that link and we get the credit. Zoom out. Look how cool these mushrooms look, guys. Zoom out. Zoom out. So now we've got a little splotch of color. And just in case what you were wondering if what I was going to do with the bottom of these mushrooms. I like to go ahead and put them in gold. Ish. Brown ish gold. And then I'm going to show you one more thing and then we're done. With mushrooms. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh my, excuse me. Zoom in. Zoom in. All right, one more thing with the mushrooms that you need to be aware of to make them look really cool. You take a dark purple, zoom in, and color on the cap. Of the mushroom. And that creates depth. See how I'm doing that. This purple is a little bit lighter, but that's okay. Because you just take your red. And you put that over the top. And what that does, everybody see that really cool shade? Zoom out. Um, pencils. Oh, Prismacolor. I would suggest to you right off the bat. Everybody see now how these mushrooms are looking very dimensional.
And see the difference between these mushrooms now that have that little bit of shading and these mushrooms that don't. So let me pop in. And guys, you don't need much purple. And when you put your purple on, you want to be a little darker on the edge and bring it in slightly lighter. And what that does is that visually creates little divots on your mushrooms. Everybody see that? And if you need to hit it again with a little red, that's fine, whatever. Just to shade that down. Don't break your pencil point like I just did. I'll scrape that off of there. Zoom out. All right, let's take a look at this. Zoom out. Now, what I want you to see zoom out do you see now how this light and dark is starting to play in I've got the mushrooms here now which are a little bit lighter I'll be doing the flowers but again we've got that nice dark background and you can see that little red riding hood is becoming more and more Um, more and more um, prominent from a light standpoint of view. Wanda, would you mind working with Sandy to help her, please? Arteza's good. I don't have Black Widow. Um, Brutferner is good. Faber-Castell is good, but they are expensive also. And I do not have the, the shipper Farben. Wanda, I would really appreciate it if you would help her with that. Okay, anybody have any questions or comments? What do you think about how this is starting to come out? What do you think about the way I did the mushrooms? Zoom in, zoom in. <laughs> Does it make sense to you? And again, you can always just smooth that out with your finger. Still got more work to do because we wanna add these little things. Yeah, Amazon makes good previous premium pencils. So Wanda, yeah, Wanda says um, her fabs are the less pricey, are the Arteza. I like those as well. And again, I have no comment about the Shripper or Farben. Okay, I hope this is whetting your appetite as we get more and more into this and working the details. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it an evening. I love you guys. Thank you so much for popping in. Thank you for helping each other. That's why we have such a good group. Thank you to everybody that lurked but didn't come in. That's okay too. I hope you learned something. Uh, Sandy, if you can afford it, I would recommend the link, yo, if Wanda will show you that. Oh, Roberta, you're welcome. Amy, you're welcome. Tell your friends. We chat. We have lots of fun. And thank you so much. Please share this broadcast, guys, to your buds. 
All right, I will see you tomorrow night. Take care, guys. Guys, joyous, joyous coloring. And also, please be kind to each other. All right. Love you. Take care. Sandy, you're welcome. Come back. Ask all your questions. We'll get you taken care of. You just happened to come in near the end of the broadcast. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.